Okay, hi planner babes. I'm so sorry. I am uh looks like three or four minutes late. I apologize. I was like, why is this live not working? And it turns out I forgot to set it as a public video. So I was clicking on go live and it was just spinning around and no explanation. And then I just kind of checked over everything. It's because I had not said it as a public video. So yay, Emily. Hey, Emily, it's so good to see you. I'm so glad it's connected now. I apologize for the delay. I was just saying that I had forgot to set it as a public video, so it wouldn't let me actually start the live. So I'm so glad to have you here today. Well, welcome so much, Planner Babes. Thank you for joining me today. And welcome to Organized Planner Chic. I'm Lucinda. And if you haven't subscribed already, please do so and select the bell for notification. And first, I want to thank my awesome Patreon members. And they are Sonia Baskin, Dean Martin, Etta, Lucille Theory, Shamika Theory, Lepton Quark, Allison Jackis, Keith Theory, Ryan McMurray, and Destiny Riles. Well, thank you guys so much. And if you're interested in supporting me on Patreon, just go to patreon.com slash organized planner chic. And if you want to do a one-off to support my channel as well, there is an option under the live chat. Okay, you guys, let's get started into these baskets. They're all over here. I got a basket for everything and I'm just going to kind of get started. They're not in any particular order. So let's get to it. So everything in these baskets came from Dollar Tree. So let's start with this one. I love, love, love these beautiful baskets. If you have not seen them yet in some hauls, you see how beautifully pink this is. They come in pink and gray and they're really nice. They're very sturdy. So all of the baskets today are in either this pink basket or I'm totally looking in the wrong place of the camera. Sorry about y'all. I'm used to looking at my phone and it's like over there for the camera. But here's my camera on here. So um, they're all either in this pink basket or in a gray basket, the same design. And they're really beautiful and very sturdy. So this one is a crafter and planner basket, right? Yay! And since it is Mother's Time right now, but this video is for any occasion, any time of the year, whatever the uh, occasion, you can do a basket from Dollar Tree. So this one, I've got a bunch of stuff. So here, right here, I've got these beautiful stickers. You guys know um, how beautiful all of the stuff is right now for all of the sort of under the sea or ocean view or summer vacation. So I have a couple of these beautiful stickers in here from Dollar Tree. Yes. So those are in the very back. They're standing up tall. And the tissue paper I did already have. I actually save all of my tissue paper whenever I get a gift from anyone. So this beautiful tissue paper came from, I think one of my subscribers, I want to say Etta, um, sent me this when she wrapped up some stuff to send me. So yeah, reuse your tissue paper, you guys. Just fold it up. Or actually, I don't fold it. I roll it up neatly. If it's big, I fold it the whole sheet in half, and then I roll it up, and then I use little plastic paper clips on either end to hold them together. So yeah, so I got those two stickers. Oops, try not to drop that. And then I got three sets right here. I have three sets of these beautiful stationery packs. Take that right on out for you guys that they have right now at Dollar Tree. And I love these because they give you a lot for $1.25. And it was a whole lot back when it was, um, actually there's four. There was a whole lot back when it was, I mean, it was a really, really good deal when it was a dollar and it's still a good deal at $1.25. So these are like these little clutches and there are four different designs at Dollar Tree right now. Yeah. So this one is got these, you know, different colors like that. And when I say clutch, it opens up like a little purse. And then these are the options in this one. So I've got that one in there, y'all. And then I've got this one. And then this is what it looks like inside of that. Pretty, pretty, pretty. And then I've got this one, which is kind of the same colors as the other one, but it's, um, I do love that blue that pops in there. And it has a lot of pink and blue and purple. This is my jam right here, y'all. All of the stationery or 
pastel colors. And then I've got one more because there's four. And this one is floral. And y'all know I love florals as well. So here's how this one looks. And this one might be my second favorite. Yeah. So all four of these are in this basket. So y'all, you, you know, everything's only $1.25. So you can load up this basket. And what I think is special about doing your own basket from Dollar Tree is you can put in it what you want. Whereas when you buy a basket from somewhere else, you have to get whatever they put in the basket. Okay. So then we've gone through those things. Then we have this because this is in particular for Mother's Day. And so we have this little, love this little um, cosmetic bag, but I use cosmetic bags for stationery and arts and crafts supplies all the time for pens and erasers and pencil sharpeners and papers and stickers and sticky notes, all that good stuff. And this one says mama and it's a really pretty pink and I really like it very much. So I use it for stationery. So I put it in the basket as well. Also, I put this in here, Amazing Mom, because even though this is a stationary planner, arts and crafts, journaling type basket, you can still be an amazing mom doing it, right? <laughs> okay, so that is in there. And then I also have these wonderful stickers. This is the same one, but I put four in this basket of Minnie Mouse, and it has uh, four sheets in here. And look at this. Is that not the cutest? Four sheets. So I don't know what the other two sheets look like inside there, but I really like this one. Really like that a lot. And then I put a bunch of flower floral stickers. Beautiful, right? Beautiful. There's they're similar in texture, but they're actually four completely different. Are these five? five completely different sets of flowers. This one and this one and this one are all in the basket, y'all. And then I have these two sets of stamps. I should have put a stamp pad in there. I didn't think about that, but two sets of stamps and then some beads because I love Dollar Tree beads, y'all. So these are round wooden beads and these are the square wooden beads or the cubed wooden beads. Yeah, so two sets of those. And then the last thing is this little pin cushion because you know me, I stitch stuff, I stitch paper, I stitch fabric, I hand stitch. And so a nice little pin, or what do you call it? Embroidery needle bundle. And I think it is so cute, nice and pink. So that is basket number one. You guys let me know what you think about each basket and then let me know at the end which one is kind of your favorite. Yeah, this is kind of hanging out. That's okay. We'll tuck that in and make it look a little bit neater. So that's basket number, number one. All right. Then we have, I'm covering it so you won't be distracted by the other baskets while I'm going through these. Okay, so here's another basket. This one is the same design again, and it is in gray. I'm really liking how this gray is looking, y'all. It is very beautiful. It's picking up really nicely on camera. And this one is like a um, self-care or pamper. I would call this one a pamper basket. Look at all that, y'all. I'm going to show you everything in here in this pamper basket. Okay, let's get started. So you are not going to believe what I found at Dollar Tree, y'all. Before I show you, I want to tell you this. I couldn't believe it. There were three sets in there. I picked up two so someone could have one. And I saw a lady kind of in the area and I told her about it so that she could get it. I don't know her from, from Eve, but I thought, you know, I want to share this because it was kind of hidden and I wanted to make sure someone could benefit from it. And um, the lady couldn't ring it up at the register. Like it kept beeping, like it, it wasn't recorded in the system or something. And I thought, oh God, don't let it be that it's not supposed to be here. And, but there were three, you know, and she can't ring it up. And so what she did is she waited till she rang up all my other stuff. And then she just bring it up as something else so that she could ring it up. So I was like, okay, well, even if it wasn't supposed to be a Dollar Tree, hopefully it was, they just earned you know, a few bucks <laughs> off of this product. So I got this. Y'all look at this. It is 
is the, oh, is it upside down? No, but it is the Herbal Essence Buy to and Save uh, Color Me Happy Shampoo and Color Me Happy Conditioner. And it's in, um, does it say what the fragrance is? Revel in Lush Aromas is what it says on the top. It doesn't really say. Yeah, it's a different, it says Revel in Lush Aromas, a new world of delectable scents, sensorial textures, and vibrant fresh colors. Yeah, it says it's proudly certified PE or PETA cruelty-free herbal essences. Yeah. So yeah, look at that, y'all. So this is in this basket. And this is these are big. This is uh, let me see, each one. It doesn't tell me individually how many ounces it is, but it says that it is 11.7 uh, fluid ounces. I think each one is. Yeah, each. It does. It says each after that. Yeah, so this is in the basket because, you know, I watch, um, I cannot remember her name. She does Dollar Tree Hauls. Destiny, what's that lady's name that does Dollar Tree Hauls that has in Georgia? Thrifty Tiffany. Thrifty Tiffany does Dollar Tree House and she finds amazing name brand stuff all the time like that. And we're always like, we don't ever find those. And I finally did. Okay. And then I got another mom mask just because this happens to be Mother's time, Day time of the year. And it says best mom ever. And it coordinates with the colors of everything else in the basket, which I'll show you. So it's really pretty. And so I got, oh, I also got a ma mama, another mama bag to go in here. And then, and again, reusing tissue paper. And so everything else in here is for um, chamomile and cucumber. So it's the Bo uh, Bolero brand, chamomile and cucumber. And so this is a pack of two of hand cream, a pack of two of hand cream. And then also a package of eye cream, chamomile and cucumber eye cream. Yes. And then also the hand wash, chamomile and cucumber hand wash, which this is a nice big bottle. It's eight fluid ounces. So yes. And then also, this is all chamomile and cucumber facial wash. And this is five ounces. A nice big tube, and then this body wash, which is 6.8 fluid ounces, chamomile and cucumber. And then we have this is the facial toner and five fluid ounces. Yeah, so isn't that an awesome? I mean, look there, you got one, two, three, four, five, six different products for your skin, your face, your hands. All of that. Then you got a little bag. You can put some toiletries in your mask and your shampoo and conditioner and you are good to go for a pamper day. So this is the pamper basket. You guys tell me. Oops. <laughs> you guys tell me what you think about the pamper basket. OK, that's the second one. Because We've got nine, you guys. All right. The next one is so fun. You guys know my daughter is having a baby and I'm so super excited. So I thought I would do like a baby shower basket or yeah, we'll just call it a baby shower basket. Yeah. And I can tell you guys that she is having a boy because my husband knows now because my daughter couldn't help but say it a few times because she's here visiting. And so yeah, we can all say that it's a boy. <laughs> okay. So this is the baby, baby, what a baby shower gosh losing the words baby shower basket yay all right so i've got the gray basket again you guys and then in here i've got three bibs i'm so just thrilled that dollar tree has the sesame street goodies and sometimes i never see them and the other times i see a bunch of it so i got the bib for uh cookie monster yeah who doesn't love cookie monster and I got the bib for, oh, there's the other bib. I got the bib for um, Big Bird. And then I got the bib for uh, the Grouch. Grouch? Why well, I can't remember his name. I think it's Grouch. I think it's Grouch. Y'all tell me if I'm wrong. <laughs> but I think his name is Grouch. 
Yeah, I grew up on Sesame Street. Did you guys? Yes. So I got those three bibs, which I think are just adorable. Oh, I've got something kind of wrapped around here, but I'll share that here at the end, I think, of this basket. I also thought it would be good to have an over-the-chair storage, you know, for your car to put stuff in there with the baby. So I got one of those over-the-chair storage things for that. And then this, my daughter came with me and was so shocked that this was at Dollar Tree because she bought one not too long ago and it cost quite a bit more. And so this is the um, shampoo rinse, Angel of Mine shampoo rinse. Look at that. For a dollar twenty-five, y'all. Yes. So I have that in there, and inside of that, I tucked the little wooden piece of the little dinosaur. You know, it has the little light inside here on the back. It has the little light, little light up. So cute for a dinosaur theme as well. And um, to go with that, I put in the set of dinosaur wall stickers i just kind of wrapped it around the basket is that not adorable y'all look at that yes i think this is so super cute i love the colors so i think that would work um even if you don't have like a dinosaur theme or you have a sesame street theme i think that you can mix in other things as well and you know you can definitely save it for journaling junk journaling memory keeping right and then there's a couple other things in here two sets of the little silverware so the infant flatware is what it's called but these are so super cute you guys agree is that not cute i feel like i'm all crooked like i'm not squared up sorry about that you guys so yeah two sets of these because i feel like you can never have too much of that you can keep some in your go bag for your diaper bag for your baby uh, grandbaby. And then I got, oh, one more thing before I show you that. I got um, some silicone pacifiers. Yes. And then I got some highlights cards, flash cards. Yes. Who else grew up with highlights? Whenever we would go to the dentist's office, the doctor's office, the eye doctor office, they would always have these highlights magazines and highlights books for the kids to read with, with other little, you know, things that they could play. And so this is a set of cards and it's about numbers. It looks like 36 different cards in there. Yes. So, and that is everything. Cause I feel like, you know, it's never too early to start collecting those things to help your child learn uh, as soon as they're born or even before they're born in, or grandchild. <laughs> so that is basket number three, you guys. Tell me what you think about that that basket okay then here is the fourth basket and it's also a pamper type basket as well my hair is bothering me and it is so cute so it's very pink it's got the pink basket the same one that we've been talking about and then it's got lots of pink stuff in here y'all okay so for one it's got the uh Herbal Essences, because remember I told you I picked up two sets of these. I could not believe they were there. Awesome, awesome deal. So we got two of those. And then this beautiful pink and green, because y'all know I love pink and green. Pink and green, super mom, I am asked. Yes. And then this one has one thing that's not real. Well, it's got pink here, and it's got the little mama bag also. Put some toiletries and stuff in there. And then, let me tuck you back in for who is receiving this basket right here. And then it's got um, five items that are hibiscus rose. So this is the body wash in hibiscus rose. Yes. And this is 6.8 .8 fluid ounces. And then we have this five ounce facial toner. And I have the hibiscus rose uh, soap, which I love, and it's vegan, and it's from Bolero. All of this is from Bolero, this hibiscus rose. And then so was the cucumber melon, or cucumber, what was it, y'all? I already can't remember. Cucumber, whatever that was. <laughs> 
And then this is uh, the body scrub. It's three ounces and also in the hibiscus rose. And then we also have this uh, facial cream and three ounces of hibiscus rose. And then we have this um, hand wash, eight ounces in hibiscus rose. Yes. And then we have a little candle. And they had a series of candles that were in a rose collection. And this one is iris. And I smelled the ones that, you know, people take the tops off in the store and they smelled good. So this is the iris one. It's very pretty with a nice gold look your bronze, I would say. Yeah, well, not bronze, but rose gold, I think, top color. And it is three ounces. Yeah. Okay. And then that is that one. So tell me what you guys think about this pink spa uh, pamper basket. All right. Okay. That was number four. I'm over here knocking stuff down, y'all. I got so much over here. Let me plug my let me plug my laptop back up before it dies. It probably won't. But I like to be safe. <laughs> rather safe rather than sorry. Okay. Hey, little treasures by Nancy. How are you doing there in South Florida? What is the weather like for you? I'm enjoying it here. It is getting warmer, but it's not too hot. You know, um, I when it's real hot, I it's real hot. So I'm enjoying what it is right now. Okay. So I got the rest. So that was four, you guys. So is that four? One, two, three, four. Yeah. So we have five more to go. All right. This one is going to be like a lawn uh, basket, which, you know, I love or lawn or it's hot for you. I bet it is, girl, because <laughs> you got that humidity and I'm from Oklahoma. So I know what that's like. It's dry here. So it doesn't get crazy hot till it gets crazy hot. You know what I mean? So, um, so I love decorating my garden area, my patios. And so I thought it'd be great to do a little lawn, lawn and garden patio type, um, basket. So this one in the gray. Yes. And so what is in here? Um, this is kind of, and it's a 4th of July theme one too, as well. So it's kind of, it's a 4th of July outdoor theme basically and so you guys if you haven't seen these check them out at dollar tree it's actually a set of two of these yard signs and it's that got that kind of fabric or material that plastic material that um you know can stand the weather so this one has a gnome so look at that is that it's not so cute Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. I'm glad you like the pamper baskets. Okay, so this one is a gnome. Look at, is he not the cutest? He's the cutest. Yes. <laughs> and then we've got the Uncle Sam gnome. I think he is a gnome under there. Yeah, because he's got the beard thing. And he's Uncle Sam. So yeah, so those two uh, yard signs. And I'm trying to remember how I, did I get this in here. Don't let it poke anybody. And then I also got the two um, little wooden signs for the fourth of the gnomes. And you're in here pretty snug, aren't you? Okay. These are so cute, y'all. <laughs> this is so cute. Oh, my gosh. I love this. So the stars and stripes. Everybody needs this. Everybody needs this at their house. It's been in the 90s the last couple of days. Okay, see now, I was telling somebody, uh, uh, Nancy, earlier that 90s in a place like Florida or Oklahoma is like hot because it's so humid and you're just drenched in the, in the um, shade doesn't mean anything. Whereas here... 90s is no big deal whatsoever because it's dry and the shade is lovely. So I know what you're going through, Nancy. So there's that one. And then here's this one. Aren't they just the cutest? Oh my gosh. I'm so grateful that Dollar Tree is all into gnomes, y'all. Because I'm all about it. Yes. And I did. Y'all know I try to pick up stuff from my friend Penny when I see it for gnomes at Dollar Tree. And I was able to get her a set. Yay. So she'll have hers. Oh, thank you. Yes, these gnomes. Dollar Tree is all about it, y'all. Okay, so then I got a couple of flags. Also, 
So look, this one says Land of the Free, and it has three gnomes on it, y'all. This is the size of the flags, and this is what the image is. Yes! So I got that one, and then this one. I love campers, y'all know. If you know my channel, you've seen me decorate stuff in the past for the seasons. I love stuff with the camper on it, and so there's the camper flag also. And then there are these two. So this one says, God bless America, a sign. So I'll switch this out with my butterflies and stuff when I set up for, because um, I got it for me too. So when I set up for um, the 4th of July, so that one, God bless America. And I just have them tucked in. Oops, sorry about that noise, y'all. Okay, everything's trying to fall over. This is not the time. Y'all get it together. And then this one says, uh, yes, I am in Arizona. I'm in the valley. So, you know, northern Arizona is lovely. It's cool. It's at least 10 degrees lower, 20 degrees probably in the summer. Uh, but here in the valley, it gets really hot. But the rest of the year, it's lovely. Yeah, because it never really gets very cold. I mean, it'll get down to freezing like... Uh, two, three o'clock in the morning, but, and only, you know, probably December, that kind of thing. So anyway, yeah, I love it. And this one, it says, welcome. Yeah. And that is the 4th of July, um, lawn and garden basket, y'all love it. So tell me what y'all think about that one. And then make myself a path y'all. So I don't fall over these baskets. Okay, then I have this one. Now, this one is actually do. Let's do this one first. Now, I have had this basket for a long time, this white basket. And this is the only one that I think maybe I possibly got the 99 cent store and not at Dollar Tree, but I'm not positive because I've had it for a long time. Oh, cool. Yeah, I live in the Phoenix Metro. So yeah, you your friend knows. Absolutely. So I have this one. And then what I use is just a little piece of bag from something that was wrapped. You know, it's the paper bag type material. And this one is also kind of a little um, nail one. You're washing your hands, do your nails, um, and, um, and light a couple of candles or two or one, <laughs> decide which one. So, uh, but it's also kind of just a mixture of little pamper things. There's not really any particular, like it's not like shower and hair and that, but just little different things that, that you might like to have for pampering. So in here is a little, um, hair bonnet and it's like, I don't think, I think it's satin. And it doesn't tell me, but it looks like a satin hair bonnet. So there's a little hair bonnet in here in the back. And then one of my favorite vegan soaps uh, currently at Dollar Tree is in front of that. And it is this. Hello, Pam. How are you? Welcome to today's video. And so then in front of the hair, um, the hair bonnet is this bar of soap. It's the oatmeal and lemon verbena. So if you have tried this, let me know. I have, and I love it. It smells so good. I can smell it outside of the box, y'all. And it's by Sugar. It's S-H-U-G-A-R Soap Works. They have a few other um, soaps there at Dollar Tree as well. And it's sulfate and paraben free and vegan. So yeah, so this soap is in there and this packaging, I want a junk journal with it. So I have some and I've opened the box and I'm saving it to junk journal with. So that is in front of that. And then we have um, a couple of nail polishes and some cuticle remover. So a little cuticle remover. And then these pretty pink level or pink shades, shades of pink nail polish. This one, um, it, I'm just trying to look for the name of this color, but it's not on here. It's LA Colors. Usually there's a sticker, but there's not one on here. So this real pretty, it's like a real soft, very soft pink, creamish pink color. And then this one is a darker, but still really light pink color. Yeah. 
So those two nail polishes and then a couple of little candles. So this one is Blossom, Honey Blossom and Amber. Let me tilt the camera for you guys so you can see a little better. Sorry, I should have done that a long time ago. <laughs> I'm so sorry. You can see so much better. I don't know what I was thinking, y'all. But this one is Honey Blossom and Amber which I love this one out of all of the ones that were there that are the rose co collection. This one smells the best. Yes. So that one. And then we have this one, which is violet. Yeah. So two candles in there. So that is that one. And it's just a nice little Nice, nice gift to provide, especially if it's like the holidays and you're doing a gift exchange because you can wrap this up easily and transport it for a party. Yes. So, oh, thank you so much, Pam. I'm glad you like it. So we've got that one. And then we have this one, which is not actually in a basket. And I thought it would be really fun. So this is wrapped up in one of the Dollar Tree caboodles and a Dollar Tree scarf. And then underneath the scarf in here is one of the little um, toiletry zipper bags. So let's look at this. Uh, this is probably my favorite of all the Dollar Tree scarves. So it's just wrapped around that. It's got that really beautiful floral. It's got pink and green and yellow. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous scarf. So that. And then on top of there, I'll show you what's in here in a minute. I want to show you what's inside the caboodle first. So you guys know Dollar Tree did have, they don't have them right now. I don't know if they're going to bring them back. But these really pretty caboodles, they had this pink with the white handle. And they had like a really pretty blue so like a seafoam blue, I would say. And so I bought several of these because I knew they weren't going to last and I didn't want to regret not getting them. And it is filled with makeup. <laughs> so I'm actually giving this to my daughter along with a separate Mother's Day uh, basket. But it's filled with makeup. So it's all L.A. colors. Um, this real pretty uh, eyeshadow. I'm vegan, so I'm particular. I always wear e.l.f. makeup, and I get a lot of it from Dollar Tree, actually. about Dollar Tree and Walmart. Walmart, Dollar Tree, and on the website for e.l.f. So my daughter wears these this makeup, though, so I got this set for her. So this is a LA Colors Nude Glam Eyeshadow. And then let's hope I can get all this back in here, y'all. And then a Nude Glam Blush and Sultry. Let's see, the eyeshadows were in Bare Beauty. This one's sultry. They had this little uh, travel brush set, four pieces. Look at that. And I also got, oh, I think I put that in the other bag. Okay. And then I got her this um, Defining Mascara. And this um, new, new black eyeliner. Glides on smooth, twist up pencil. Yes. And this, uh, what color is this? Bear With Me lipstick. So she loves neutrals, nude, nude colors, neutral colors. And then this um, glowing highlighter. And this powder, pressed powder in tan. So here's the pressed powder. And then the BB cream in a dark color. Yes. And then I just put it all on top of a piece of, let me show y'all, a piece of, um, I can't even think of this word, y'all, tissue paper. Okay. And so I'm going to put that back in and show you what was in the little bag because I couldn't fit everything. And actually, I should put this brush in this other bag because it's got brush in there. And let's see, I think I got to put this, I think I got to put this down first, y'all, to get this stuff in here. I don't know how I got it in here. As long as I can close it, that's all that matters. I think I can do it. I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. I got a gap in here somewhere that might make it work. Y'all know, just got to rearrange stuff. You can fit it. Okay. 
Yes, I got that in there. And then in this bag, which is really cute, they had different styles. Um, I feel this is so bright. So this one says Superstar and it's pink. Yeah, I thought it was really cute. And in here, uh, got the zipper open. Oh, some deodorant. That's because <laughs> she has for, for when she comes to visit. So I forgot that was in there. But in here is going to go the brushes. So I meant to put this in here for the brushes. So that brush, and then there is a charcoal charcoal blender makeup sponge. Yes. And then one of the kabuki, a little kabuki brush. Yeah. And then that takes care of that whole thing. So it's going to be a little basket for her, and it will take care of all of her makeup needs and some deodorant. <laughs> Who doesn't need a little deodorant? All right. So that is what, and this is just so easy, you guys. I mean, it's like all of the decor is done for you. All you got to do is assemble it. It makes it fun and easy. So, yeah. So we got, I think, two more. How many have we done, y'all? Four, five, six. This is seven. Do I got three? I guess I got three more. Or did I count this one? This one is one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Let's see what I got left. Seven, eight, nine. Two more. Okay. So this one is basically what I like to call a little hodgepodge basket. And then I do have a focus basket, the last one. Oh, thank you so thank you so much, Pam. I'm glad you like it. Yeah, I love all the pink, and I know she will too. So this is kind of a what do I, what did I call it, y'all? Kind of a um, random basket, if you want to call it. So you know, when you have friends, or you're that kind of person where there's certain things you want, you like, you like to have, you don't like to be short of. That's just kind of you, like a list of things that are you. Well, I did that for my best friend one year for Christmas things that I knew that she liked. They were all different things, all different categories of things. And I put it all in a basket for her for Christmas and she loved it. Okay. So it's a hod podge, maybe hod podge, this and that basket, whatever you want to call it. So I put in this really cute mirror from Dollar Tree. I think it is really nice and it actually works. I've never really paid much attention to Dollar Tree mirrors, but the design of this one really uh, caught my eye. So this one is in here. Let me show you the whole basket too, y'all. So here's the whole basket. I think it looks really cool. Yeah. And the pink and the really soft blue uh, tissue paper. So we got that mirror. And then we've got this bag that was in the same area as the other one that was pink for my daughter. And it says, yes, you can. So it's really pretty. It kind of makes me think of sherbet ice cream or uh, the different pastel colors and flavors or maybe even Neapolitan. So yeah, so that's in there. You can use that to put different toiletries or your sun stuff, your vacation type stuff in here. So trying to get that back in here some kind of way. I don't know how I had that in there. And so then there are, there's another bonnet. Yes. And then, cause you know, I sleep with two bonnets cause I have so much hair and it's so thick that I have one that kind of holds it um, together and then one that goes over it so that, you know, if I sweat or anything, it has a lining inside and it won't get all in the pillow. So yeah, I'm all about that too. And then I put in four sunscreens. So SPF 30 from Dollar Tree, I put four in the basket because my mom and I are going out to the walking pool a lot this summer. So yeah, so there's four of those in here. And then there is a hand sanitizer because, you know, it's always good to have that when you're on the go and it's in a nice pink color. This one is pomegranate and vanilla is the scent. And then I also have this little travel thing. So even when you're not traveling out of town, but you're just want need stuff in your car for when you're on the go and maybe you can't get home or you need to freshen up, it's really good. And this is a good deal for $1.25 because they're definitely more than this at Walmart and any, anywhere else. So $1.25 at Dollar Tree and it's got um, it's got a, a bottle in here and you can buy the bottle separately like a set of three or four at Dollar Tree. It's got a bottle, it's got a loofah sponge, a toothbrush cover and a little um, 
actually, I think it had a two of the little uh, containers in here. So that is there. And then my daughter and I discovered a bunch of earrings. They had necklaces too, but I didn't like them. At Dollar Tree, and so I got a bunch of them. So this one is kind of dressy. Kind of think maybe that was supposed to be for weddings. And then this one. Cute, right? Well, it says I said yes. So I think this is supposed to be for a wedding. Those two. And then, and it's so cool how this turned out to be kind of a pink and blue basket. <laughs> I wasn't even trying to. This one says, thank you for being by my side. I think it's supposed to be for weddings too. But I do really like this design. And then this one says, love you. It's got two crosses. And then this one says, you're beautiful. And it's got two hearts with little, looks like little hearts on inside the, of them or just little, I don't know, like rock formations, texture in here of hearts. Yeah, so that is that basket, y'all. Let me know what you think of that one. And then I have one more. And it's a real simple basket, y'all. Can you guess what this theme is? Can you guess what this theme is, y'all? You haven't seen earrings? Yeah, it's only one Dollar Tree Pam that I have seen earrings. I don't think I've ever, well, no, it's always that same Dollar Tree. Sometimes I, it's a really big Dollar Tree, and sometimes I see it on a particular end cap. I think I always see some on that end cap, cap but they're bigger. In fact, I bought a lot of them. I bought these ages ago at a Dollar Tree, like years ago these big heart hoops. Um, so I see those, but then these were like around a set of stationery. It was like this stationary aisle. And sometimes I see a little bit of jewelry there, but this time it was tons of tons. And some, I would have bought more, but some of them I just didn't like the style. So yeah. So this is a snack basket, y'all. And for me in particular, because I'm actually keeping this <laughs> This is a car snack basket, yes, to keep in my car for when I'm on the go. Oh, you bought some from, e okay, thank you, Emily. They've been there from Easter. Okay, great. Thank you for sharing that and keeping us informed. Um, so, yeah, so I like to keep snacks in my car that are healthy, that aren't going to go bad in the sun so that if I'm on the go and I don't have a chance to get to the, let's say a doctor's appointment that's going long or something, or just something going on with my parents and I didn't get to eat my lunch like I needed to. And I don't want to spend money going to a restaurant or a fast food place and wind up eating something that's not very healthy. And so then this and kind of tied me, tied me over. Is it tied or tie y'all? What's the correct... <laughs> What's the correct phrase? Tied me over or tie me over? I think it's tie me over. Yeah, till, till I can actually have a meal. And so I have in here the saltines. Now, if you ever buy the 98 cent saltines at Walmart, I don't like them. They don't have enough salt to me. They look like they have some salt, but I don't taste any salt. And these, which are from Little Dutch Made, are really good. They're great saltine crackers. So I got a package of these. And then I got some pretzels, a little bag of pretzels. Yeah, there's a lot in here and it's nine ounces. And they're like the kind of waffle design. And then I got some, ooh, come on. I know, I squeezed y'all in here. Then I got some pitted dates, yeah. This is three ounces for $1.25. That is not bad. And then because I like my food to be really well seasoned, I'm Creole, I like spice. And um, yeah, and so sometimes if I'm somewhere and I feel like this, this food is bland, I'm not happy because I like to be happy with my food. I thought it'd be great for me to just keep a little Creole seasoning in my car. Yes, I have multiples of these in my house. And I thought I'll have one in my car. Yeah. So a car snack basket. It can just be a snack basket, period. But this is a car snack basket. I've got other snacks in my car right now. In fact, oh, I left something out. I bought two of these. And this is the Imperial Nuts Power Blend. It's got salted peanuts, salted almonds. Of course, there's a lot of salt. It's just for my car, y'all. 
Salted peanuts, salted almonds, salted pistachios, salted hazelnuts, and salted walnuts. It's hilarious how they said salted before every one of these ingredients when they could have just said salted power blend. But anyway, <laughs> so yeah, I actually have two of these. And that takes care of the last basket. Well, let me know what you guys think about all of these gift basket ideas. Um, you love salty things. I know, Pam, girl. It, it is. It's a, it's a thing. <laughs> so let me guys know what you think about all nine baskets. What was your favorite? Um, tell me if you have any other basket ideas from Dollar Tree as well. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and comment and share. It really helps my channel a lot. Also, I am on Instagram at Organized Planner Chic, where you can see all of my creative ventures and adventures. Hello, Melina Mack. How are you? <laughs> I also have two Facebook groups. The one for anyone around the world is called Organized Planner Chic Crew, and there we do giveaways. And then the other local one is called Phoenix Planner Friends for Christ. You guys, please take care of yourselves. Take care of your mind, body, and spirit, because when one area suffers, they all suffer. You guys continue to pray for me, and I'll continue to pray for you. And until next time, everyone, happy planning.